Well, let's do this. Welcome one, welcome all to The Chronic Atheist, the podcast where a manic, depressive, non-binary atheist talks about life, chronic illness, mental health, and whatever else seems to be important to talk about at the time. It's been a while. It's been more than two months, if my uh, calendar is to be believed. Um, Let me uh, make sure that my notifications are turned off so that annoying buzz doesn't keep happening. Well, yours truly had to call out from work again today. I, um, I had managed not to for the last couple of months, due in no small part to the fact that I was, uh, pretty, pretty clearly, though, sorry about the train, pretty clearly, though, um, very diplomatically cautioned that uh, my absences were starting to count against me in the minds of the people who matter. Um, But I got up this morning and the nausea, little bit of the dizziness. The dizziness got a little worse after I took my anti-nausea medication because one of the side effects of my anti-nausea medication is dizziness, which is so fucking stupid. Ah, I'm tired of this mess, y'all. I've taken, taken all the medications I'm supposed to, um, I looked, I looked up my anti-nausea medication this morning, which I had not done before. Um, come to find out, see, here's the thing. I had been hoping, I had really and truly been hoping that it was, um, you know, like aspirin or a, a sugar pill or something, you know, that I was having these weird bouts of nausea and my GP had just thrown something at me to placebo me out of the nausea. <laughs> Not so much. No. It's uh, it's an industrial grade anti-nausea medication most commonly prescribed to uh, cancer patients. It also has some off-label usages in treating depression and anxiety. Are there any of these pills that don't just do the one damn thing? God, I'm so tired. Okay, all this mess, all of which is to say... So yeah, it's, it's been a while... Nothing much to report because nothing much has changed. I've, um, you know, I go to work, I sit at my desk, I take my medication, I fight down my panic attacks, I take my benzo when the panic attacks can't be fought down. I, um, I take my anti-nausea medication when the nausea spikes, but I I couldn't I couldn't do it today, y'all. Could not do it. The nausea was too bad. The dizziness was coming and going. My car is parked on a slant right now because it's parked on the street. I got in to try to drive to work and almost fell into the passenger seat. Um, it's ridiculous. Now, we know from the adventure with the MRI and the neurologist and all that mess that 
part at least of what's wrong with yours truly is a chronic and improperly treated over the years sinus infection, which is messing with my inner ears and which is exacerbating the IBS and is, is just generally fucking my shit up. Um, but I've had, I've had sinus issues on and off my entire life. I've had allergy issues on and off my entire life. There's something else in the wind, y'all. There's something else going on, and I don't know what it is, and neither do any of my doctors, which is frustrating beyond belief. I, I have racked up more medical bills in the last six months than in the last six years put together, and uh, all of which has come to the conclusion that I've essentially got the world's worst head cold. And also they don't know what else might or might not be going on. It's frustrating. It's so fucking frustrating. I have talked on this podcast before about how frustrating it is. Trying to get diagnosed with anything. And when you've got as much history in your file as I do about mental health issues, it's even worse because there's a, I can't speak for the doctors, but in, in my head, I can't help but wonder if they don't think that it's all in my head. It's not. Ooh. A little too much pressure on the diaphragm there. A little spike in the nausea. Um, I hate being out sick. I hate this job, but I hate being out sick even more because I have guilt about being sick. I don't know where that comes from. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any damn sense. I am assured by multiple people that it's not my fault. It's not the judgment of the living God. It's not, uh, it's not somehow karmic. But, but I have the guilt anyway. My anxiety and my depression are high, high, high. Or low, 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 depending on which one you, you're looking at and which way you want to look at it. I don't know what I'm going to fucking do today, y'all. It's not like I can get online and work on my LinkedIn profile. That's, you know, that would look bad. Calling out on a Monday and then speaking. You know, suddenly being active on LinkedIn. There's, there's just no good there. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so tired of being... Sick and tired of being sick and tired, you know? The, it's just... It's so... Fucking tedious. And I just... I hate the feeling of feeling like you're going to throw up. It's a really unpleasant sensation. And I've been sitting with it all morning. All morning. Um, anyway, so here's, so this has been updates, uh, nothing much has changed, which is frustrating in its own fucking right. Whew, I've dropped a lot of F-bombs this week, I should have, uh, 
should have um, put some kind of content warning at the beginning to deal with the language as well as the constant talk of nausea. If you stuck with me this long, welcome. Good to see you or good to see you again. Um, I'm going to try to bring back the podcast. It was relatively well received while it was uh, a more regular thing and as my mental health issues continue to uh, bedevil me, I, I can't help but think that... I mean, that counts as chronic illness as well. The, the fact that it's in one organ rather than another is something we pay a lot of attention to societally that we hadn't ought to. Brain is part of body. Brain sick, body sick. Oh, God, the nausea. Oh, okay. Well, that's about all I've got the energy for. Um, thank you all for listening. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for coming back. If you've been away whilst I've been away, thank you. Um, I want to well, what do I want to? I want to be better is what I want. Um, I want I want to uh, extend thanks to everybody who's reached out to me, everybody who's uh, expressed their. Their sympathy, their understanding, their uh, willingness to listen, their all manner of things in the aftermath of yesterday's disastrous mental health stream over on the YouTube channel. Um, and I want to say a special thanks to my wonderful spouse who is right there with me through all this craziness and stupid and sickness and health, you know. I, I, I love you and I appreciate you and I thank you. All right. Well, I guess we'll roll out of here. Um, not much else to say, not much else to update on. Uh, whatever format you're listening to this or watching this on, because I know this is auto-linked to my YouTube channel in a weird podcasty way, which is strange but convenient. Ugh. Y'all, pardon me, I'm so sorry. The nausea. All right. Um, wherever, wherever you're uh, watching or listening, I'm, uh, I'm glad that you did. Let me know if there's comments below in whatever format you're... Uh, you're interacting with this, where you're interacting with this. I'd just kind of be, kind of be interested to know. All right. Well, we'll see you again. Um, I'll keep you all updated. And as we always say before we roll out of our various endeavors, everybody take care. Be safe. Stand against hate. And remember to take your meds. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Bye, y'all.